Hello, very good evening. In today's lecture, basically, we will learn how you can use intents to switch between one activity and another activity. Remember, in Android, basically, we work with activities. So, you have one activity, and if you want to click on a button, then another activity pops up. Then you click on a button, then another activity pops up. So, like in Microsoft Windows, we have a window in uh, Android we have something called activity so you are basically switching between multiple different activities each activity will contain different components different layouts and you can have different segments within it my name is Dr. Ishan Buddy. if you're here for the first time please don't forget to visit my page and subscribe the channel you will find that on my channel there are more than 500 video lectures based on PHP mail scripting Maya Maya embedded language uh, 3d graphics from developing HTML, CSS, JavaScript to working on Android, Photoshop, multimedia technology and so on and so forth. So these tutorials will be very helpful and very productive for you. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon and receive notifications regularly. Let's begin. Now, I have this default app created already for me. There's nothing else here, just a simple constraint layout. This is something that you get when first time you create a default app within the latest 2021, we have constraint layout. You can change this layout. So for example, I can uh, change it, but for now, let me just leave it blank. What I do is I come here and click on a single button. This button can be anything. You can use any of these components to switch between different activities. Okay, so what I do is I click on this button and let me just say uh, SWIT switch to act, switch activity, right? ActiVI switch activity. And then at the top, I can have a text view component and, and this text view can be uh, my home ActiVIT activity. Right. So this is my home activity. Let me just increase its font size so it's more legible. 20 SP. I can make it bold uh, and I can make it strong. And then if I come down here inside the background, usually I like to give it some dark colors. And here we go. Let's just make it big screen size. Then if you scroll up, we need to assign constraints. So left, click on the blue pin, click on this blue pin, click on the top blue pin and leave the bottom so now this is constrained again these values are different whenever you're doing a constraint layout make sure you organize and work with your values as well don't just click what i did right now so what i do is i set this to zero and i set the right to zero because both left and right are zero zero the component is automatically centered at the top this is 66 pixels means there's a 66 pixel gap you can just decrease that gap to a certain point as well my component is at the center now then I have this button as well. So what I do is I pin this on the left, I pin this on the right. Come here, make set these two variables to zero. Pin it from the top. So now it is top 290. I don't mind that. Pin it at the bottom as well. I don't mind that. But if you want this to be right that center, make it zero and make it zero. So now zero zero means that from this component, it's almost at the center of the uh, uh, horizontally and vertically center. So that's done. So now I have my basic button. I have my home activity information available. I think this is a little too dark color. Let me just switch it to a little lighter color. I think that would do the trick. And then the button basically is all vertically not aligned. So I can come back at the bottom. We have something called padding, 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 padding. Here we are. And padding top basically means it will increase the space. So I can use, for example, 25 dp. And you will note that now it is moving. You can give padding left as well. So for example, I can give 20 dp. And now there is a little space here. I think this should also be 25. Press enter. So now my component is at the center, organized well now. The idea is basically very simple. When I click on, oops, sorry, I moved it. So once I click on this button, it switches to second activity. Now, first thing is we need to create that second activity. This is my main activity, the, my home screen, my main page. I need to create the second activity. So to do that, I will go inside the Java folder, right click on it, new, Inside the new, we have activities. These are the default activities that you get when you first time open the Android. So I will create another empty activity for our sake. So once I do that, you will note it will ask me which activity do you want. So I can say, for example, uh, news act activity, activity. Right. So I gave it news activity. Generate a layout file. Obviously, I need the layout file. Without that, I cannot survive. The layout name will be activity news. I don't mind that. Click on finish. You can give any name you want. As soon as you click finish, two things happen, two files created. One is known as main activity.java, which second would be news activity.java. Two Java files now you have. Similarly, you will have two XML files. If you come inside the project structure, you would find a resource folder. Inside resource folder, there is called layout. Now you will find that there is a news activity layout and there is a news activity Java. 
So similar to our previous thing, once you create a new activity, means you have created a new layout. So for each layout, you have an XML file, you have a Java file. The second layout, XML file, Java file. Third, in fourth, fifth, sixth, the more you create, the more you will get the same file structure, same concept. For each activity you create, you will get an XML file and you will get a Java file. Okay. XML again is used for layout designing, the front end, Java is used for the back end. So you get two files, one for the front end, one for the back end. Okay. Let's go back. So now if I come inside the news activity.java, I get this information. But I want the same thing here. So this is again one thing that people have been asking me. If I right click here on this thing, I can copy these two components. I go back inside my news activity XML. I can right click and I can paste. Voila. All right. So don't bother creating again and again. So now once I'm here, I will just rename this from my home activity to uh, news activity. Okay. And inside on this particular button, I think uh, the constraints are up and down. They are just messed up a little bit. So from the switch activity, I will say uh, home home activity right so from switch activity now I get home so when I click on this button it will take me back to my main activity options so that's done there okay so now I have these two options created okay these two activities are news activity and home activity and everything is okie dokie so we have two activities but the coding is missing so now the idea is that once I come here click on switch activity so because the first is main activity I click on main activity go inside the create and let's write the code now to switch the code basically means we have to click on on click listener so we have been talking about this in my previous lectures as well so if you have been watching my previous lecture i have been using this code again and again and i will explain it again here so rar dot id dot and i can use a button so you can name it any other name for now i will just use a default now this button is actually the name of the button on this particular component if you rename it from your id if i scroll up if you rename it from here uh, if i select the button again if you rename it, you need to ensure that you have renamed it, change the name. So if I come back into news XML, this becomes my button. Okay. And if I come inside my main activity, it's called button two. So let me just rename it button S W I T C H switch. Okay. Yes. Refactor it. So if I come back into my Java file now, I will make sure this is not button. This will be BTN, zip, zip, BTN switch. Okay, so the name of the components is essential. Remember, so this is now ID button switch, the same ID I will be assigning to this particular component. Once this is done, well, it's easy peasy from here. Set on click event listener, write new space V and view on click listener message pops up, press enter. The entire code is already written for you. Okay, so now what we do is within this on click listener, we need to write something called intents. Now, intents are basically Android's way of showing the intention that I want to switch between app activities. All right. So, intents are basically Android's way of communicating between these two activities. So, we write an intent class. So, once we do that, inside this intent, we say my in my intent, my int int is equals to new intent. We create an intent object. And we give it something called get application context comma and this application context requires my uh, activity class so this can be news activity dot class and semicolon that's it so now what we did is we created a button we said find view by id find me that button assign it to variable then use that variable to set an on click listener this would basically mean that listen for an event. When event occurs, new ob object is created at the runtime and a method is overridden inside that object. Okay, so this is the default code. Whenever we want to press a button, on click button is there. This method is executed. Inside this, now we have created an intent. Intent are Java's way of identifying what basically you want to do. Uh, or talk to between different activities, switch between activities, pass data between activities and so on and so forth. So what we did is we said intent, int, new intent, and then get application context. Get the context of the current application. There can be many application running, but what we want, we want the context of our current application. So get me the context reference of a current application. Inside that application, there is a file called news activity. So this news activity.java file 
I want to execute it. I want to switch from my intent, right? So my intentions have changed and dot class file. Why we dot class file? Yes, because Java code when compiled is converted into a byte code into a dot class file. So that's why we don't write dot Java here because the final executable in your APK will not be dot Java, will be dot class file, right? So if anybody knows that, give me a thumbs up down below. So what we do now is we just write semicolon and this code and we say start activity my intent All right so now you need to write another method called start activity this means that i created an intention but i have not yet executed it in order to execute it i call another method called instant start activity my intent so now we showed an intention that we want to switch from this activity but this start activity will actually do the transaction. It will perform that activity. You know. So once its main button is clicked, it will take me to the news activity. Once I'm here, now I need to go back into my main activity. So this back button needs to work. What I do is I just copy paste the code. Same code works everywhere. So in each activity, I will do the same thing. I just need to name name. So I come back here, click on this ID and this ID can be button BSC cap back refactor it go into news activity dot java button btn find view by id not the switch this time button back so i want the context of this button find it assign it to this button variable use the same variable because this is a different java file i can use it set on click listener override back intent my intent but this time i want the intent to be main activity main activity dot class file that's it so the only thing we changed is the button name and the activity name that's it we just copy pasted the code so if once you understand the concept copy pasting the thing works so now what happens is once you inside news activity this will take me back to my home activity when i'm in home activity it will take me to my news activity okay so let me just write not switch activity news activity and whatever name you want to do so this way you can switch between different activities let me run this app it's okay so while it's running so again idea is very simple we click on one button it takes you another activity it can be any button any image any icon any text that you want you click on this text it will take you to different things so now the coding basically depends up to you And my code is running. So now I home activity, my news activity is there. As soon as I click on this one, you can see news activity has executed. Okay. So as soon as I click on home button, it switches me to back. So now I can switch between back and forth between these two activities. Perfect. Right. Very simple. Very easy. So anytime you click on it, you are switching between different activities. That's how you do it. I hope you understand.